December of 2023. That's how long you're going to have to wait to drive, bike, or cross the Roberto Clemente Bridge again. The bridge closed this morning for a major renovation project. Jessica Gway has a look at how the closure is already affecting commuters. Crews closed the Roberto Clemente Bridge early this morning and they started working right away. They're putting up lots of fencing around the area. Some commuters are feeling frustrated they have to change up their usual routine, while others don't seem to mind. Some Pittsburghers were not expecting to see closed signs in front of the Roberto Clemente Bridge Monday morning. I was just about to run across the Clemente Bridge and I didn't know that it was closed today. The rusty bridge will be under renovation for at least 22 months. The closure is already impacting people who usually drive, bike, walk, and run on the bridge. Like Emma Kieran, she's disappointed she has to change her usual running route. We live right in the war streets, and so we use it probably three times a week, running, walking the dogs. So, of course, we have other bridges to use, but this will be, it's a bummer. And Tracy Jane, who says she won't walk to work anymore. I walk back and forth. This is my commute. I walk across the bridge every single day, twice a day. So I'm not looking forward to the construction because now I lost my morning walk. I have to drive. This biker, Daniel Gare, says it won't affect him too much. You know, I biked the same route for three years, so it's a good reason to take another street. Allegheny County Public Works officials tell me the early work that's happening now is the mobilization stage. Workers are putting material and equipment in the correct spots. They'll eventually replace the deck, paint the superstructure, and do structural repairs. Commuters are crossing their fingers and hoping the project will finish early. No, not two years. This is messing up my downtown vibe. As construction crews get everything in place here, Duquesne Light is expected to come out this week to start utility work. Now, the last inspection that was done on this bridge was last year, and it was given a fair condition rating. But this rehab project has been in the works long before that. On the North Shore, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.